is sleep is sleep how many of you get good sleep how many of you want to improve your sleep and how many of you don't sleep at all okay if you want to improve your sleep say yes in the comments say yes if you if you if you sleep really well say <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, there's the two That's options. That's it. If you, if, you don't, if you want to improve your sleep, say yes. If you want to, if you sleep really well, say zzz. All right. Someone says pretty good. So you did not listen to us. <laughs> it's either yes or zzz. Nira said yes. Okay. Yeah. Lots of yeses. Lots so of lots yeses of people want to improve improving their sleep. your sleep. Oh, um, Nancy has good sleep. Good for you, mate. Good for you. <laughs> It's night in India. Okay, so yes, if you sleep great. No, no, no. No, yes. sorry. Yes is if you want to improve yes, your sleep. Yes, if you want to improve your sleep and zzz, if you sleep fantastically like a bear. I'm loving this. <sighs> Let's wait for a couple more answers. Let's see what the... Look, Kanchen, it's either a zzz or a yes, not a maybe, okay? <laughs> zzz and yes. Okay, great. Well, I've seen a lot of yeses going on and a lot of z's, which makes me really happy. I'm so glad so many of you sleep well. For those of you who don't, I... Or for anyone who just wants to improve their sleep. Yes, or for anybody who wants to improve their sleep. We have been trying a new evening routine because... Tell them why. Because what you do in the evening seriously impacts what you do in the morning. How you do... What your evening routine is will definitely impact your morning routine. Now, um, the reason is because your mind is prepped and ready in the evening for you waking up. Like what you end up thinking about, what you end up doing, what you end up, um, what you end up seeing, smelling, believing the night before is exactly how you're gonna wake up in the morning. So Jay and I got into this habit, this COVID habit, this pandemic habit of watching TV in the evening. Or trying to watch something as well. Trying to watch. Most of the time it was us browsing for about perusing, perusing on Netflix. Or anywhere. Or anywhere. For or everywhere. While, not sponsored by Netflix. Um, <laughs> looking for something to watch. And what we realized slowly but surely was that it just wasn't bringing us any kind of joy in our life, in our evenings. But we were doing it out of habit. Like constantly, that was the thing that we went to. For the past two weeks, is yeah. It yeah, yeah, yeah. For the past two weeks, we said, you know what? Done with this. We are done with this, and it is time <laughs> to shut the TV off, turn off the telly. So we actually took out all the TVs in all rooms except for one room. And like the living area where we would sit and talk, instead, we took all the TVs out. And now, or I'm in process of taking them out, but we definitely oh, shut, yeah, yeah, we yeah, shut yeah. them off. And we haven't watched TV for two weeks, haven't watched anything for two weeks. And it has honestly been the most transformative thing that I can possibly say. Like, my mornings have been so beautiful and I had kind of lost my desire. I would still wake up to meditate, but my desire to meditate and my desire to wake up was kind of like, oh, I'm doing it because I know I should and because I know it's going to help me in some way, but I don't really want to. After shutting off TV in the evenings, instead we're doing reading and we're actually spending time together but alone. He's doing his own thing, I'm doing my own thing, usually it's reading something. And we always thought that watching TV together was, was spending we're time alone, together. together. yeah. And I realized that not only would I feel like I wasted time because we didn't watch anything that was useful or we watched something we didn't enjoy it and it didn't entertain us. But then I was like, but I don't feel closer to you either. Whereas nah. what we've been doing at least for the past two weeks is... Riley's been reading her own stuff. I've been reading my own stuff. Then we've been discussing or sharing what we've read. And there's just so much more of a connection. There's so much more to talk about. It's been really powerful. So Mimi, um, Mimi Minsky said something sweet. She said, love a cup of tea instead of trying to escape ourselves by looking for something distracting outside of ourselves. That is Mimi. exactly it, Mimi. <laughs> that is exactly it. You said in one sentence what I tried to say in 50. It is so true. Whether it's a cup of tea with a book, whether it is... Um, whether it's a cup of tea with a book, whether it's just, you know, we've been appreciating nature so much. We've been sitting outside, we've been looking at the moon, we've been looking at the sky. And honestly, to do with sleep, that makes such a difference. When you are present with your environment and when you're connecting to 
the moon, the sun, watching it, it actually helps you feel sleepy. We've been going to bed by like nine, latest 9.30, because we're tuning into what's happening in nature around us and our bodies are in tune with nature and to bring them back into tune, we have to pay attention. And so we've been doing that and honestly, my mornings have just been spectacular. My meditations have been so much sweeter. Um, I felt more enthusiastic. I, wake, I go to sleep every night excited to wake up before five. Like I genuinely go to sleep like, oh, it's going to be five o'clock soon. Yay. Um, and you've been waking up so much earlier than you normally do. And it's just been lovely. So I would love to hear if you guys are thinking about trying it. I'm sure so many of my friends have told me that they have spent more time watching TV during the pandemic than they probably have in their whole entire life. Um, and so... Yeah, that's that's really what I yeah. want to share today because it's had such a huge impact. And on top of all of that, in our evening, what we have been doing, like I said, is doing it tea time with book time. So the tea that we've been drinking, I'm actually drinking it now because I'm feeling like it's Friday. I want to wind down a bit early, 12.30 p.m. Um, but it's the lavender, cam lavender rose chamomile. Chamomile is an adaptogen, which... Why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm just... I'm intrigued. Okay. Chamomile is an adaptogen which helps with sleep. An adaptogen is a plant extract which basically helps to balance out your body. It relieves any stress in your body, physical, mental, or emotional. And so this lavender, rose, chamomile, all three of them, just the sound of them, it's like lavender, rose, and chamomile. Ah... So nice. Uh, but even more than just the name, the um, way that it affects your body, the scent of it, it really just helps calm you down. So that's what we've been doing. And let me tell you, so it's good. been phenomenal. Would so you like good. to speak? Sorry, I'm going to hug it. <laughs> hey, everyone, what's going on? Eh? Do you want to have a little chat here? No, I agree with everything you just said. I, I love it. And, you know, oh. yesterday we announced Sama Tea. And it's been amazing to see all your love, all your positive energy towards what we've created. We love seeing all the comments, all the shares, all of you that have already ordered. And if you like chamomile tea, if you like mint tea, if you like uh, if you like jasmine peach, uh, we'd love for you to come and check out samatea.com forward slash IG to become a part of the community. We're going to be doing a live tea party like every this. month yeah. for our community every single month talking about new flavors, talking about the benefits of tea, talking about rituals, talking about talking what about we're struggling that, with. Yeah, what we struggle with. What we're with, trying to improve. What we found out about ourselves or life in general. Um, and I just want to say, Rosie said something really sweet. She said, we do our veggie gardening. Go up, babe, I'm reading. We do our veggie gardening in the noon and early mornings too before we do our separate things or I activities love that. in the day. They do gardening together. It doesn't have to be reading, by the way. It can be going for a walk. It can be... We do that a lot it too. Can be, we go on hikes You know one thing I really want to do? is um, start doing, um, you know, the coloring books. Sure. The adult coloring books sure. for like stress and anxiety. It's so fun looking On at colors. On your own, mate. Yeah. You don't want to do coloring books? No, I don't want to do What about join the dots? No. What about crosswords? No. You don't like crossword puzzles? No, I like walks. You don't like crossword? Who doesn't no. like a good crossword puzzle? So now you're telling everyone to do sleep early. You can sleep do early, crossword. do crossword puzzles, <laughs> me. draw, hey, do no. join the dots, Sudoku, <laughs> all things which really help either stimulate your mind in like a positive way, help grow your mind, stretch your mind, muscles, or help calm you down, whichever you fancy. I love it. Um, no coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> coloring books are awesome. Yes, there Amina. We go. See, she gets me. Walks holding hands. Walks there holding hands. Mm, not a PDA person, <laughs> however. The walks I'll take, the holding hands I'll save for. <laughs> Me house. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. We um, love it. Thank you thank so you guys much so much for watching. We hope you're going to try what we suggested. Sarmatea.com for your lavender rose chamomile to try it out. You can join in to test it for a month, for three months, for six months. Why are you loving it? Is it, I've just been really We are actually quite delirious. So remember, we're feeling really sleepy and it's only midday. <laughs> so I'm considering drinking this chamomile tea. Probably not a bad idea. And then taking a tiny but mighty nap. I love it. All right, guys. We'll see you soon. Take care, Bye. everyone. Head over to sabatee.com forward slash IG. Forward slash. IG. <laughs>